Pass up the Jeep, it's good to be free. Load up the pans and fishing poles. The highway is long, the wheels turning round. Pack up the cook stove and the bowls. Arlo and I, we hit the open road. Arlo and I are on the road. Hey everybody, um, I'm here in the kitchen. Uh, it's about 6.15 in the evening, so I have the uh, evening light shining through the kitchen window here, um, so it's a little bit bright right now. Um, but I thought that I would make a fun um, mushroom recipe uh, because it's not quite mushroom season yet. Well, it actually is, just getting started. Um, the monsoons are just getting started right now, but uh, we had a nice uh, burst of thunderstorms, um, you know, maybe like a month ago and everything got nice and wet and then now we've had a little bit of a dry spell um, so now I'm just waiting for the rain to come back um, and uh, get the forest wet and then it'll be mushroom season again um, it'll be ready it'll be on um, but in the meantime since uh, I don't have any mushrooms to work with I thought that I would do um, a fun but interesting uh, different type of a recipe um, here I have some morel mushrooms um, these were dried um, I'm going to make some morel mushroom, well, rosemary morel uh, mushroom praline. So what I have here is about a half an ounce of uh, dried uh, morel mushrooms. They're rehydrated, um, but they're not sopping wet, so because I dried them, uh, squeezed them out really well. Um, so, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to saute these mushrooms in some butter with some rosemary and because uh, you don't want to eat your morel mushrooms raw you want to cook them um, but we want to get a little bit more of this moisture out of here and get some of that nice rosemary and butter flavor into these and then we'll make our pralines okay so we have our uh, morel mushrooms in the pan with a little bit of butter and a little bit of rosemary here i'm just going to saute those up just a little bit And get that mushroom and butter a flavor into those mushrooms as well as uh, dry them out um, a little bit more get some more of that water out of the mushrooms there so that'll just take a couple minutes okay those are looking pretty good there I'm going to take these off the heat here and uh, we'll get the rest of our uh, uh, praline uh, recipe ingredients together here. All right, now this is a really simple recipe. Once again, uh, we have, I'm going to make a small batch here. So I've got a half of a cup of white sugar, a half of a cup of brown sugar, a little bit of salt. I have some evaporated milk. This is about two ounces of evaporated milk. I have some butter our uh, uh, sauteed morels and I also have uh, some pecans I think I gonna put some pecans in there as well um, and that's about it um, so let's just get started here so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our white sugar and our brown sugar to our pan um, our salt is probably like a quarter teaspoon salt and our evaporated milk like I said that's about two ounces of evaporated milk um, and, uh, that's it for now um, we're gonna get this on the stove and get it going okay we're gonna just slowly uh, bring this mixture up to a boil um, like I said this is the uh, this is the uh, brown sugar the white sugar and the evaporated milk Stir this until it becomes smooth. Um, you can kind of feel the grittiness of the sugar in there and you can uh, kind of feel it melting. So we're going to uh, continue stirring this until uh, um, it's all melted and uh, it comes to a little a boil. We really want to uh, bring this up to about 240 degrees and then we're going to add in our butter, our uh, mushrooms 
and up it comes. Like I said, we just really want to bring this to 240 degrees. If you have a thermometer, um, this is the time uh, to use your thermometer. Um, I'm just going to go by uh, the way the bubbles look here, which I think this is just about right here. Okay, I'm going to take this off of the stove. Okay. And I'm going to add uh, my butter, uh, my mushrooms, and a few of these uh, pecans here. Yeah, put a good amount of those pecans in there. Now we're just going to stir this. Actually, I'm going to put the rest of those pecans in there. 2.25 ounces of pecans. Now we're just going to stir this until it starts to thicken up and then we're going to drop it onto our, um, I have a cookie sheet over here uh, with some uh, parchment on it. Um, but we're just going to, at the point, this point right here, um, we're just going to stir this until it thick, starts to thicken up. see uh, this mixture is really starting to thicken up so we're going to take it over here and start dropping these uh, pralines onto the paper here that, that looks perfect mm, you can really smell that rosemary and the mushrooms actually, the really that, that smell of uh, the dried morels is like really nice. There we go. That is perfect. Look at those guys. Looks like you have this about eight uh, nice. Um, size pralines here. So we just need to let these cool down a little bit and then we'll be able to peel them off the paper um, and then we'll try them out. Um, but I can't wait. All right, well, our pralines are ready. They've been sitting for about 15 minutes. Um, they could sit a little bit longer, but the sun is going down behind the mountain there. It's going down uh, behind the trees. Um, so I'm running out of light. So I wanna make sure that I finish this video. Um, so these just peel off uh, the paper uh, just really nicely. And you can see how beautiful uh, those uh, pralines are. They're nice and shiny and glistening on the top, um, but you know, they're kind of dull on the bottom. Uh, so that is perfect uh, praline right there. Let's try get another one over here. Look at that, uh, the bottom, and then the nice shiny top. So that's perfect. So I want to hurry up and try one of these too. Hmm, they smell so good. They smell so you know dark and sugary, um, but they also have that sort of earthy, mushroomy. Um, kind of aroma and I can smell that rosemary coming through now if you ever had a praline um, They kind of snap these aren't quite cool yet um, But they kind of snap in sort of a sugary kind of way. They're not crunchy 
um, but they kind of softly um, break, um, which these are perfect. Um, they just need to sit a little bit longer. Um, that is really good. Um, has that sort of grainy, um, sugary kind of uh, caramely kind of uh, texture. Um, the uh, morel mushrooms have a little bit of a chew to them, um, and the uh, pecans are nice and crispy. Mm. Mm. That is a delicious praline. Mm. Yeah, and that rosemary just comes right through, and it's just a perfect complement uh, to these. Mm. Those are so sweet, um, but so delicious and so rich. Mm. So good, and the texture is so nice. Like I said, they just need to sit a little bit longer. I'm rushing them a little bit, um, but um, they're nice and uh, they're hardening um, nicely. Now, they don't get real hard. Like I said, they just get um, kind of uh, firm. Just look how pretty uh, that praline is. Oh, they're so sweet. I don't know if I want to eat another one right now, um, but that sort of, sort of foresty um, morel mushroom flavor um, with the sugar um, and the pecans and the rosemary all together um, make just like a delicious delicious combination um, anyway um, if you have some dried morel mushrooms this is definitely uh, worth a try now I know this probably sounds like a really strange combination uh, but um, it really really works well oh man I don't eat much sugar um, and um, I really try to avoid candy and things like that, but you know what? I'm, I'm gonna be uh, picking at these um, all night, I think. Make sure I have some milk in there. Uh, anyway, <laughs> if you like this video, uh, please like, uh, please subscribe. That always helps us a lot, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye. Arlo and I, we hit the open road. Arlo and I on the road.